And Governor Ron DeSantis was in Clearwater today, doubling down on his decision to reopen schools next month. Eight on your side, Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us from Clearwater, where that roundtable took place. That's right, we're at a school for special needs children, and today Governor Ron DeSantis filled his roundtable with families from this school who say traditional schooling is vital for their emotional and physical well-being. One of those people is Joyce Vitrelli. My name is Joy Vitrelli. This is my daughter, Victoria Vitrelli, who's actually a graduate of Paul B. Stevens. Joyce Vitrelli also teaches at the school and says in-person class is vital for the safety of special needs children. We have unfortunately experienced that outside of school can be a very unsafe environment. My daughter has, has been a personal victim of that. Governor Ron DeSantis agrees and says traditional school is also important for families in compromising economic situations. We have single mothers who work uh, multiple jobs uh, in order to support their children. Uh, it makes it very, very difficult to put the food on the table that that mother needs to do uh, if the school is not an option during the day. I think about my mom, if she had to try and provide for us and teach at the same time, I think it, it would be virtually impossible. Glenton Gilzine Jr. with the Central Florida Urban League says keeping schools open is vital to support their mission to end generational poverty by empowering Floridians to achieve social and economic equality through education, employment, and entrepreneurship. We can rebuild black businesses. I just don't know how we can rebuild a child's, uh, any of our kids' childhoods. Now, the governor says COVID numbers in Pinellas County are trending in a better direction, but for a second day in a row, we've seen data that Florida reported a record number of deaths. So we asked the governor if he shares in the concern that we've heard from many teachers about their health and well being, and we have not yet heard an answer. Reporting live, Christine McClarty, eight on your side.